This is Catherine. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of video clips lately. Sometimes I just do some that I don't post. But um, I just wanted to say that last night uh, I took a bath. I've been taking a bath at night so that my hair isn't wet in the morning in the winter time. And, um, you know, Sometimes when I go in the bath, I put like an extra inside lock on the door in the front of my apartment, um, but sometimes I don't think of it, you know, and even when I don't put the extra one on, I have like two other inside locks, like I have this other device, and, but I came out of the bath, and one of my cats was sitting in my lap, and all of a sudden he seemed like he might be puke, might throw up, um, and, you know, I put him down on the floor, I didn't want him to throw up on the blanket, but, um, then I realized a little bit later that all of a sudden it seemed like his collar was really tight, and it just made me think, like, did someone get into the apartment while I was in the bath? into the front of the apartment and fucking tighten the cat's collar. And part of me feels like that's absurd. Like, who would be that brazen? It's not like they confronted me in the bathroom. But I don't really see how that happened. It's not the kind of collar that the cat could accidentally tighten. And... It just really pisses me off. And, you know, I think two of my neighbor's cars were gone during that time, which only leads, leaves one of my neighbors, which leads me to think it was him because, you know, for somebody to come, like, from across the street, like, that would all take longer. Um, so... You know, it just sucks because it's one of those things that if I told the police, they'd probably like, well, maybe there's some other explanation. But, um, you know, it makes me think that it's a certain neighbor and that, you know, maybe he's the one that steals the mail sometimes. And I just hope something bad happens to him. You know, karma, something. I hope something bad happens to him. It's evil. That's an evil thing to do. And, you know, I was able to pull the collar so that it's angled in such a way that it's, you know, on a smaller part of his neck. But I'm going to try to cut it off when I get a good opportunity when he's napping. But, um, you know, I went through shit with my other cats. Like, one day, one of my other cats was having a lot of trouble breathing. I mean, like, gasping for air and, you know, had his mouth open. I had to, you know, do, like, an emergency vet visit. And, like, I'm just not going to tolerate it. Like, I've been feeling like I want to move, but... I feel like my finances are a little bit in limbo right now and I need to make sure that's more settled and I'm just really fucking pissed. I'm really fucking pissed and I hope something terrible happens to whoever came in and did that. I hope something terrible happens to them. Um, so from now on, even when I'm home all the time, I'm going to have the third extra security lock on the inside of the door. But it's it's crazy. Like, it's fucking crazy that I have to live this way. And I'm just not going to fucking tolerate it. I'm not. Like, if I have to get the fuck out of here, yeah, things tend to follow me wherever I go. But, um... You know, it takes a little while for my enemies to re to regroup when I move somewhere. And, yeah, I just hope something fucking terrible happens to whoever came in here last night. You're fucking evil. You're a fucking asshole.